Hi there and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking about number formats. Now, a large focus of mathematical literacy is making sense of how numbers are used in life, in real life. And so in order to make sense of numbers, we need to understand that they can take on different formats, look different, and even mean different things depending on the situation. So for example, some calculators um, insert what looks like commas after every three digits. So when I write down the number 25, it doesn't do anything. When I write down the number 100, it doesn't do anything either. But as soon as I write down the number 1000, some calculators will have a little space, others will have a little comma, sometimes at the bottom, or at times they can even have a comma at the top. And you can see that it groups it you know, by threes. Now, in the case of the comma, it doesn't mean that we are dealing with decimals. All right? That is not a decimal. It's just that it's a way of separating uh, the main number from the other three that have been grouped together. So if we take a number like 10 million, you can see that we've got our commas to separate it so that we can read it as 10 million. However, there's no decimal. Unless we have a decimal point and then we say, let's say for argument's sake, it's 0.25. So this would be 10 million point two five right remember our digits are always grouped in threes right and they're grouped in threes from the right now when it comes to these decimals decimals can sometimes be a comma or full stop so for example if i've got 10.5 and i've got 10 comma 5 it's still exactly the same so just to say that again the same value of a number can be written in different ways. First of all, it can be written as a fraction. It can be written as a percentage. And it can be written as a decimal. So let's look at each one of these quickly. If I've got the number, let's use a fraction. Let's say 25 out of 50 as our fraction. Let's just draw that line. As a percentage, this would be 50%. As a decimal, it would be 0, 0,5 or we could say 0, 0.5. But all of these are exactly the same thing. It's the same number that has just been expressed in a different format. Let's look at one more example. Let's go with this one. 150 out of 150. Now, if you got that for a test, that would be full marks, so wonderful. What does that mean in percentage? That means it's 100%. And as a decimal, that would be 1,0 or 1.0. But again, these are all indicating the exact same number, but it's expressed in a different format. 